So this play I'm about to show you, I've never used it in a game. When I was at the University of Albany as a player, way, actually as an assistant coach way back then, uh, it was designed by uh, my former head coach, Doc Cyrus. And, but it's something we practice all the time in late game situations, but it's not something we actually ever use, but it's a tremendous play. Uh, so uh, bear with me here. We use it with one second or less on the clock. You got the ball side OB. We got our four man taking the ball out. Has to be a great passer. Got to be the best pass on your team, no doubt about it. It's all about the pass on this play. We're going to have our best athlete in that spot. Best athlete, best hands in that spot. We're going to have a great leaper in that spot. Let's just call it a five man. You can put guys anywhere else you want, anywhere you want, but just understand great leaper, great hands, great passer. Those are the three priorities that make this play. And then again, here we're going to have our two and our one man out. And again, those guys are decoys in terms of what's happening. It's secondary, secondary to what's ha going to happen on the club. Four's got it out of bounds. As the play starts, three's going to go back screen for five. Four has the ball. He's going to hold it. Five's going to run and jump in the air like he was catching the back door lock. After he clears and he's on his descent, four is going to take the ball, and this is where it gets great. He's going to take the ball, and he's going to throw it over the rim and hit the opposite side of the backboard. That's the pass. The clock doesn't start till somebody touches it. You can throw it against the backboard. So he's going to jump and clear out. Three, after he sets that screen, he's going to reverse pivot and come right to that block, and that ball should bounce off the glass, catch it, and put it in, right? Now, if that doesn't happen again, we're going to pin, four's going to screen in for one, he's going to come off, and he's going to pop if we don't have the, that backboard, backboard play. But in a game at the University of Albany, we scored a basket and won a game with less than a second to go off the side of the backboard, he caught it, and put it in. Great play, and uh, the guys love it, but it's hard to try to find a guy who can make that pass. So we normally throw it like a soccer pass over the top of the head to hit, try to hit the uh, opposite side of the backboard. So we practice this a lot, and I guarantee you, if I ever need to have it in the game, we're going to use it, it's going to get done.